Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is the secret triumph for Destiny 2's brand new DLC, Final Shape. We have two secret triumphs that will be available throughout this year. And the very first one that we have is now active this week. It is called Dual Destiny. This is an exotic mission that unlocks the exotic class items for each of your characters, the Hunter, the Titan, and the Warlock. One thing I wanna mention before we get into this guide, you have to do this with another player. You cannot do this solo. As much as it sucks, I know the same thing happened with Microcosm and that exotic guide, but they did it again. You cannot do this unless you have at least one other player. As a matter of fact, I think it only is two players for this activity. So yeah, you're gonna have to make that work. So in order to start this dual destiny mission, what you have to do is go to each of the main landing zones in the Pale Heart. The landing, the blooming, and the impasse. You're going to want to search for something called the Secret Wishkeeper Wizards, but they only spawn after completing the overthrow bosses in each of the landing zones. So, yep, you guessed it. You have to go through and do a full overthrow run all the way to the final boss and kill the final boss in all three of the zones. So after you kill the landing boss, you go to a specific location on the map where some Taken and the wizard spawn, kill everything and kill the wizard. And there you go. That's your progress. It'll say on the bottom left that Secret Wishkeeper has been vanquished. Then again, you go to the Blooming, do the same thing. Overthrow Final Boss, then the Wizard. Then you go to the Impasse and do it one last time. Final Boss, and then the Secret Wizard. And then, after that, you're going to want to head back to the Refraction. The Refraction is found in between the Landing and the Blooming on your Pale Heart map. When you go here, you're going to see a giant green beam in the sky. When you go to that green beam, you're going to see a Savathan statue. And once you get near it, you're going to see two new icons appear nearby. There's going to be an Omen and a Subjugator nearby. Two big bosses. You have to almost kill them. And then they're going to drop respective light and dark orbs that you can drop into the Savathun statue. And once you do that, then you have access to the Dual Destiny mission. Now, another thing that you have to remember when going into this Dual Destiny mission is you're going to have to work with your teammate and have communication between you both. Because this particular mission, it's not your standard dual mission. This is a completely brand new thing that Destiny has done. The dual Destiny mission focuses entirely on your players communicating and solving puzzles, just like if you were to solve them in raids with a team of six. From what I've seen of this mission so far, this looks to be one of the best exotic missions that Destiny has ever put out. And I think that's mainly because they're not limited to the solo play and they're allowing us to solve puzzles, which I guess in some ways, it, it really does kind of seem cool that they're choosing to do this with two players. But nonetheless, once you go through the entire mission, solve all the puzzles with your teammate, and get all the way to the very end and fight the final boss, you will unlock the exotic class item for whatever character you are on. Now, the next thing that I want to mention is that you have to get two other exotic class items to finish your exotic collection if you want to do that. So if you, if you just wanted the triumph for the dual destiny thing for your final shape seal, then you're already done. If you done this but if you want to get all of the exotic class items you do not need to go through this process more than once after unlocking a exotic class item on one of your three characters the only thing you need to do now is take your other characters to the pale heart and farm out chests everywhere could be overthrow chests could be your standard chest just found somewhere in the pale heart you're you're not going to have an easy time finding them but you can get the exotic class items now just by searching chests on your alternate characters, just so long as one character across your account has completed the quest. So for those of you that are searching for exotics and trying to max out your exotic collection, it's much easier now than it ever has been to farm out this stuff with multiple characters. But that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the guide for the dual destiny mission. Like I said, with my final shape seal guide, I'm going to link everything together so that I have one big central hub video of everything. There's one more secret triumph for the final shape that we don't know about yet. We'll have to wait till next week and see if it comes out. But if it does, then you'll definitely have a guide for me talking about what to do. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next guide, which is probably gonna be the Echo's Intrepid Seal Guide.